I'm just going to quickly go over the different types <coughs> of bonds. You don't have to memorize this. This is just giving you a sense of there are different categories of bonds, different characteristics. These categories are actually not exclusive. So some of the bonds could be a term bond. Term bond basically just tells you that there's a specific, same specific date for all the bonds that this particular company issues. So ju it just has a particular date for all the bonds that the company issues. Serial bonds, this sometimes happens when probably you will not see these type of questions, breaks down by installments. But for most of the problems will be given by term bonds. Okay, but serial bonds also exist. So part of the bonds will be due every single year. Secured bonds, some of the money, the bond certificate while company issued to the public, if they don't pay back to the creditor on time, some part of the assets will be legally transferred to that creditor. So some of the bonds are also backed up by assets, very similar to the idea of mortgage. This is called secured bonds. Debentures, just the opposite of secured bonds. Most of the uh, bonds are not really backed up by assets. So debentures are very popular too. Usually just basically means the opposite of that, not secured by any type of asset. So a not secured by any type of asset bond usually has, a, usually has an interest rate that is slightly higher than secured bonds. Okay, secured bonds is backed up by assets, but at the same time, it's less, since it's less riskier, less risky, so the interest rate usually is also lower for these bonds. Okay, so this is just a general category. There's many more to this. It's not exclusive categories, just so you have a sense there's different characteristics of bonds. <coughs> okay, so most of the bonds that we're dealing with in this chapter is considered term bonds, has a specific due date for these bonds, meaning the maturity value will be paid on the due date, not by installments, and most of them are debentures, not backed up by assets. So most of the problems you see in this chapter fall under the first and the last category. <coughs> Okay, now bonds.